Uh, let's bring in our political panel. With us today is talk show host Tony Katz and also ARC Initiative senior advisor Tim Hogan. Um, both of you watched this unfold this week, I'm sure, the, the drama between um, what Ch uh, Chuck Schumer said and reaction coming from Republicans across the spectrum. Um, I want to ask you, Tony, because you'll recall, I mean, just a couple years ago when President Biden said of Russian President Putin, that man cannot stay in power uh, right after the Ukraine invasion. The White House was bending over backwards to say that Biden was actually not calling for regime change. He wasn't calling for, uh, you know, him to, to step down from office. They really carefully walked that back. Um, and that was talking about Putin. They did not do this with Netanyahu, our ally in Israel. Why is that? Because uh, the Biden administration is not a friend of Israel and doesn't care what happens to Israel. He isn't strong on Israel. He had some really big words soon after October 7th, the attack from the Hamas terrorists on Israelis, the murder of 1,300, the burning alive of babies, the raping of women. And then it all fell apart. And now he's going to build a port for Hamas. This is not a pier in the Mediterranean. He's building a port in Hamas. I got back from Israel last Thursday. I spent a week there. I was at the site of the music festival in Raim. I was in the kibbutzim that were burned down with the bullet holes, the death and the destruction in the north, just a mile from Lebanon, where they are expecting the war with Hezbollah. Israelis are completely united in support of destroying Hamas and destroying Hezbollah. They may not be fans of Netanyahu, that is true. But for Chuck Schumer to call for elections, when does Chuck Schumer call for elections when it comes uh, to Hamas, when it comes to Hezbollah? When does that happen? The answer is it hasn't happened. Chuck Schumer should be ashamed of himself. Tim, you know, the White House has, um, you know, despite responding to some of the uh, pressure from its base to be more sensitive to the civilian toll in Gaza, it, with their actions, they have continued to maintain support for Israel. But this was a really stunning moment where, you know, the president said that it was a good speech. The White House couldn't say exactly what was good about that speech, maintained that they weren't walking it back, but also didn't endorse it. I mean, that requires some clarification. It's not an explicit endorsement because the entire situation in the Middle East right now is about walking a diplomatic tightrope. And to your point, the reason we've been able to continue to help Israel to build a pier and a port to try to get aid into, uh, into Gaza to help people where we've seen massive civilian casualties is because the, the, the administration has taken a responsible posture on the issue. We've seen Tony Blinken uh, negotiating for getting aid through the Rafah crossing. We have seen Jake Sullivan and the National Security Council maintain a responsible posture as well. The question is, do you want to throw someone like Donald Trump into the situation where it's totally bombastic, where he's, where he's saying, you know, it is just going to be, uh, you know, whatever, whatever Netanyahu's government wants is going to Can be the policy. Can we stop this? Can we please stop this? This has nothing to do with Donald Trump. It isn't responsible to build a fort for Hamas. It is a, a choice that people and are going to make in November, no and it's Tim about stop. having someone responsible Hogan, or a flamethrower. Well, there I, is I think absolutely, positively, no it's diplomatic a delicate situation. Rope. You either favor terrorists or you that, don't. You either favor the burning of babies or you don't. And right now, the Biden administration is saying they do. They're wrong, and Chuck Schumer's wrong, and you're wrong. That's Tim. the type of rhetoric Stop that we would see it. coming out of the White House, and we don't the want the two of you that. guys it certainly that. shows that there are strong Shame feelings on, on both sides of this issue that uh, are, n are not going away anytime soon, and everything that the president does matters, uh, which is why I think the White House should probably clarify their, their stance because people are looking for answers. Uh, appreciate your time, both of you. Hope to have you back again soon. Griff. Take care.